I get into a lot of arguments. Those of you who follow me on social media and subscribe to this channel know that. Um, feel free to join those base people. But basically, I get into a lot of arguments. And uh, yesterday, I got into an argument on uh, a channel that I've been on a few times. And I will link the full video in the description if you want to watch something that is four hours. Because that's basically what it was. Um, and near the end of it, I brought up a thing that I fucking harp on. And yeah, I harp on it because it fucking matters. Um, and because anybody who says it doesn't matter uh, doesn't have your interests at heart. Or at least doesn't mind supporting, you know, the the whole security state infiltration um, tacitly. You know, like, I'm not talking about, you know, active, rah, rah, we need this support, but like, you know, the quiet support that doesn't say anything while bad shit happens or tries to downplay it and says, oh, that'll never work. That'll, that'll, we've already won. The people are, are going to fight. Um, no, they're not going to fight, and they're already not fighting. And because I wasn't, like, fully prepared for that argument, um, like, I, I didn't have this on hand, so I actually, like, forgot what it was. But, uh, Activist Post reminded me, like, I, I saw this, like, a week ago, and I was <laughs> very upset, because this is basically just confirming everything I've been saying for years. Um, that the uh, mega corporations are at it again. And um, so the activist post, uh, we're mutuals on Twitter, have been for a long time. They put out great content generally. Um, I don't 100% agree with them, but like, you don't need to. That's the point of liberty. And um, ultimately, this uh, post that they posted reminded me to uh, talk about the Fido Alliance. Fido, like a good boy. That's what they. That's what they want you to think of. Fido. Um. <laughs> and that's actually kind of an appropriate metaphor for the kinds of things that's going to usher in the lapdog generation. So, you know, have at it. Um. The thing that I'm talking about today is what the Fido Alliance is and what it does. And I feel like it's good to bring this up because they had a conference recently. So before we get into that, let's just talk about the Fido Alliance. Fido, Fast Identity Online Alliance, is an open industry association launched in February 2013 whose stated mission is to develop and promote authentication standards that help reduce the world's over-reliance on passwords. FIDO addresses the lack of interoperability among devices that use strong authentication and reduces the problem users face creating and remembering multiple usernames and passwords. FIDO supports a full range of authentication techniques, including biometrics, such as fingerprint and iris scanners, voice and facial recognition, as well as existing solutions and communication standards, such as trusted platform modules, USB security tokens, embedded secure elements, smart cards, and near-field communication. The USB security token device may be used to authenticate using a single password, uh, four-digit PIN, or by pressing a button. So, um, that's the general vibe there. Uh, you, you, you all might remember for a significant period of time, your favorite YouTuber was pushing something on you called the YubiKey or it was just being generally advertised um, in corporate news. What the YubiKey is, is it's a thing that you can hardware secure your computer with. You stick it in, and it lets you log in. So, um, why would that be bad? Well, because the people behind it, Yubico, are part of this alliance. And because this alliance is aligned with the same people involved in... Um, in the globalist ID system they're building. 
with ID40 and ID2020. Um, and that is connected to the Globe's, uh, you know, collective CBDC program, as I've mentioned and proved many times before. Um, those of you who follow me at Agorist Nexus, you know that I've been writing about this for years. And you know that I've got, like, a compendium of knowledge on this already. But, like, I didn't post about this particular alliance yet. Um, and I feel like I should, because they just had their conference, like, a week and a half ago. Um, and their conference has just an absolute fucking who's who of these sorts of people, and they want to use this, your identity, to control you on a general level with ID2020 and that sort of thing. So, let me get this going. Uh, this is the page for it. it looks like he's a superhero. Look at it. <laughs> they fancy themselves to be superheroes. Maybe Ubermensch? <gasps> anyway, um... So what this was, there, there was a countdown thing. Relying on passwords is passe. Modern authentication systems and standards have emerged to provide more efficient ways for organizations to provide strong security and better interactions with their brands. Welcome to Authenticate, the industry's only conference dedicated to the, uh, to the who, what, why, and how of user authentication. With a focus on the FIDO standards-based approach, Authenticate, Hosted by the FIDO Alliance is the place for CISOs, security strategists, enterprise architects, and product and business leaders to get all of the education tools and best practices to roll out modern authentication across web, enterprise, and government applications. Authenticate 2021 featured detailed case studies, technical tutorials, and expert panels all helping educate attendees on business drivers technical considerations and overall best practices for deploying modern authentication systems the 2022 event will again focus on providing excellent content a dynamic expo hall and other networking opportunities after years of increasingly severe data breaches and user login frustration now is the time to embrace a new way to authenticate Join us at Authenticate 2022 and come away with the tools to move past passwords. Isn't that nice? And it's a veritable who's who of, um, of a bunch of different people who are already affiliated with this globalist financial system. Microsoft, MasterCard, Fido, Ubico, um, Axiad, fucking visa you're noticing probably a pattern a vast antivirus uh microsoft more yubico google <laughs> uh amazon um you know amazon cognito jp morgan chase who you know has just demonstrated their willingness to you know censor people I'm not saying, by the way, just to get that out of the way, that I agree with the people like that they censored recently. Um, but it's it should be concerning when all these are connected. AWS identity, so more Amazon services. Um, <laughs> fucking Google, obviously, is connected to all of this. Um, and Google is affiliated with the NSA and DOD through their programs that actually started the joint. Um, there's more Google, there's more NIST. So NIST was the the people who had that report that they kept classified um, because it would jeopardize public safety to know how towers could be potentially knocked down by planes, allegedly. Um, Salesforce, uh, fucking know before uh fucking uh, who's who more from the fido alliance more from yubico more from microsoft the open id foundation that is directly affiliated and supported by id 2020 alliance and so are many of these other people and you know it's valuable to bring this up 
because these people are at the helm of a significant Rocketon. You know? E-commerce. Cloudflare. Uh, fucking Target. Like, just, if you have a product, you know, if you have a fucking online service, these people are affiliated with it. And I feel like it's necessary to bring this up. Cambridge Housing Authority. You know? Fucking... Auth ID, Cisco. <laughs> if it's not obvious that these people are highly affiliated with the deep state, the security state, um, a variety of other things affiliated with the state, uh, another Open ID Foundation there, by the way, then I don't know what would be. More Fido, you know? Fucking more Amazon. These are all just like speakers. Bank ID, more Yubico. Like, I think you should really look into these people. You should look into these connections. You should realize that these people aren't on our side. And you should know that with Visa and MasterCard working directly on this, the reason they're doing that is so that they can connect your digital ID and the digital dollar to your uh, your ID um, and your social media and everything else. They want one login, right? One login for everything, which means that they can log you out by that login too. Deperson you real quick. You're saying something that goes too far against their fucking agenda? Yeah. So that is, I think, a valuable thing to remember. It's a valuable thing to remember that these people are building it right now. And that conference already happened. That conference was already to discuss how to uh, log people in under one ID. How to co collect your biometric ID. How to tie your biometric ID to your finances and to everything else you do. This is the modern first world social credit system. It's coming to, like, America, it was already in China, it was already in Russia, you know, to the extent where they could, like, shut it down entirely. They shut down swift payments in Canada. You know, it's already happening. So, for those of you who say that it's not happening, or that it won't work, I challenge you to prove me wrong. Because years ago, I said that they were going to connect your biometric data, including specifically your facial recognition data, to everything you do and use it to control you. And I proved it back then, but people didn't connect the dots then either, despite them being like right there on the page for them to connect. I already proved that they're going to do all this. But like, <laughs> for some reason, people still think that this is some impossibility because the American people love freedom so much. Where? Where are these Americans who love freedom? Because I'll tell you, they're a distinct minority. They are a distinct minority who actually value freedom. And, and if you disagree with that, I don't know what planet you're living on. Because these people will accept this dystopia with stimulus money. The, the, the state broke a significant portion of the economy and threw a lot of people out of their homes and fucked up a lot of people's health care and made it so that a lot of people couldn't feed their kids and just a wide variety of other things. And then they proved that they could get loyalty back to the system despite a flawed um, pharmaceutical industry being in control of a significant amount of it they could still get loyalty and they could still get these people to virtue signal and Karen and fucking police their neighbors on behalf of the state. Um, as long as they expressed that they were going to do something about it. And that something that they did was basically 2K. 2K a pocket to buy off the American people. 
And the economy kept going. There was no hibiscus flower. There was no significant resistance. And everything ticked on. The American people, the vast majority of them, don't give a fucking shit about freedom. They just want their particular brand of freedom. And they'll tell you to vote for a Democrat or Republican or a Libertarian Party member to get that particular brand. Instead, we need to oppose the whole system, including this ID system. We need to tell them no in significant numbers so that they can't do this sort of thing. You know? And if you think I'm exaggerating, or if you think that I'm being too specific about these people specifically, let me just bring up, you know, I'll bring up what they're doing um, <laughs> with their agenda, because they listed it out. Their agenda is... I, AWS identity, right? Fucking <laughs> how to like go, go passwordless, which means biometric ID, federal zero trust strategy <laughs> with streamlined authentication, strengthening the supply chain, passwordless at scale. Um, NIST's digital identity guidelines. Like, just look at these. Web3 wallets to Web2 environments. They want to control cryptocurrency. <laughs> they're, 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 they're working in things about, like, NFTs and shit. And trying to, trying to control all that. Day two. Even more. Advanced Authentication Frameworks for Enterprises. Frictionless Biometrics. Just like scan your face or your palm, contribute to the mark of the beast, do it. That's what they want. Um, bias in biometric recognition. Basically make it better so that it's less racist and less prone to that. Um, <laughs> EID Schemes. Right? Trying to, like, connect your ID to these things. To your Visa, your MasterCard, your social media, your email, everything. Right? Open ID Foundation is all about that. About banking and open data movement. But you know what they're all doing is they're working with Accenture to build a one-way blockchain where they can see everything and you can see nothing. So they can accuse you of whatever they fucking want. Right? And it's just fintech and crypto. They're, they're literally going to use this singular ID to control everything. Okay? Everything. Global science and technology. That's what FIDO will be. That's what they want. How to navigate surging injection attacks and biometric verification. If you think I'm exaggerating, this is what they're planning. I'm not remotely exaggerating. Everything I said was true. Everything I've been saying for years has been true. But they would much rather you just believe that it's fucking... Oh, we're just making things easier for you. Ubiquity for FIDO authentication. They want it everywhere. Everywhere. E-promised land. This isn't a cult of, you know, a massive amount of corporations and banks and shit. This isn't the New World Order. They're just calling it the E-promised land to be cheeky. And then you scroll down just a little bit and you find out all their signature sponsors. They are literally sponsored by Google, Microsoft, Visa, Ubico, MasterCard. <laughs> all of these verifications, including Web3 Auth, Amazon. I'm just... LastPass is, is, is such a fucking insidious thing.
because they came in and they got like they sponsored like a ton of YouTubers. They said, "Hey, come here. You know, give us all of your passwords and we'll just let you sign into everything with one." And people were like, "Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to put in a password for everything." So they just did it. And then this eventually results in use your face or your palm or something to fucking sign into everything. To buy things. To interact with not only Web 3 and 2.0, but the whole fucking world, including Meat Space. When you buy things in Meat Space, you will be buying them this way. And you will eventually not be able to buy or sell without their fucking money that they're building right now. The digital dollar project is literally the mark of the beast. But feel free to keep not believing me. Feel free to claim that it's not going to work. Feel free to continue throwing billions of dollars at politicians this midterm, like the $9.3 billion that's projected to be fucking spent on fucking electoral politics for the midterm alone. Feel free to keep doing all that and proving, proving that these issues don't mean shit to you. Or at least that you're willing to turn a blind eye to the problem areas. Meanwhile, those of us who actually care, we're going to keep on looking into this stuff and opposing it at every step and telling people to say no because ultimately, a lack of consent and a willingness to resist, that's what's going to be necessary to smash the fucking state.